Hey there, Andrew Jobling here. Very excited uh, as the Spectrum Brands 63-day challenge is just completed. In fact, today is day 64, which means it will one day pass the 63 days. And wow, I've just spent an inspiring hour with, with a handful of people at Spectrum Brands that have decided to commit to this program, to, to commit to long-term change. And incredible the results absolutely incredible and what i'm going to do right now is just have a quick chat but also i've got a, a few people that are, were courageous enough to have a chat to me on video and and i'm going to share their testimonial their statements of what happened but the whole idea of this 63 day challenge really was understanding the process that if we're going to create long-term change if we're going to create uh, strong neural pathways in the brain. It was going to take 63 days of focus to create a new, fully established um, pattern of behaviour, a new, very powerful habit. So it was quite a simple process. It was just choosing a handful of things, maybe only one, two, no more than five. But for most people, it was just one thing or two things, and they seemed almost insignificant. Um, drinking a glass of water, extra glass of water or eating something for breakfast or thinking more positively about life or, you know, just really or doing an extra few steps a day or whatever it might be. It almost seemed like if you missed a day, it wouldn't make a big deal. But let me tell you, and when you hear some of the stories, you'll see that these just tiny little seemingly insignificant things will ripple and will have such a powerful and profound impact on not just your own life, but on lives of people around. And, and as I sat in the room this morning and listened to some of the stories, one of the, one of the most amazing stories was, was a guy who unfortunately didn't want to um, tell his story on video, who had been diagnosed with a condition that he was told there's no cure for. And after 63 days of of focusing on a few very, very simple wellness habits and positive thinking habits. He went back to the doctor and the doctor was absolutely dumbfounded because this man had, there was no sign of this condition left. It was gone. It was cured. It was, it was finished. And, and it was amazing to think that just with a few simple, basic, tiny, eeny, weeny, insignificant uh, changes in, in actions, in habits, you can cure something that seemed incurable. And I mean, who knows what was the reason for it, but I can tell you the fact that this gentleman who all of a sudden has started to impact not just his own life, but his kids and his family and, and people around him, it's very powerful. And I heard story after story after story of people that had just decided to take very, very simple steps, not really knowing what would happen over a 63 day process. And none of them really were perfect over a 63 day process. In fact, none. So what you're gonna hear are stories of people that did the best they could. They weren't perfect, but they knew that there are things that needed to change in their life. They, they stuck to it. Um, they missed a day here and there, but at the end of the day, what resulted in my mind is, is absolutely incredible mind-blowing stuff that such tiny seemingly insignificant habits over a 60-day 63 day process cannot just impact one life but you'll hear stories of how it's it's actually rippled out and it's impacting lives of people around them so this is really powerful enjoy listening to these wonderful people as they share their story of how 63 days is all it's taken to considerably change their life Hi, I'm Kendi. I've just completed the 63 day challenge. Um, at about day 42, I was really, really struggling, but I still turned up and I, uh, I reduced my goals from about five things down to one, which was to drink two extra glasses of water each day. Um, surprisingly, there was only one day in the last 21 days where I wasn't able to achieve that. So, um, but I was really surprised by the other things that happened. I actually started reintroducing some of the original goals um, just by natural attrition through the process. Um, started not beating up on myself as much, um, which is probably what I've always done. I've set goals and never achieved them. Um, and so just by doing a few simple things, I've actually been able to take the pressure off myself and then feel like this has a longevity to it as opposed to you know an end date where I go back to my old habits. This is something that I can 
keep um, as part of my normal healthy lifestyle. It's been great fun. So what, tell us some of the benefits, Kendi, of drinking that extra water. Um, I'm probably not eating as many naughty foods, um, so I'm trying to drink the water, um, well I am drinking the water and therefore not putting um, snacks in my mouth um, later in the day, which is a killer for me. Um, I've started eating breakfast, not every day, but um, I think it's just sort of reset my body clock in a way, um, sleeping a lot better. Um, and I had a lot of digestive issues and whilst I've still got some of those, I think because I'm eating healthier and drinking more water, it's actually helping in a great way. Um, and I think I am just calmer in a sense because I'm not beating up on myself because I'm actually achieving something and not failing yet another goal that I'm not able to achieve. So, um, yeah, I'm just being kinder to myself. Wonderful. And moving forward, what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to continue doing another 63 days. I'll probably try just introducing one extra thing that I had tried to introduce as part of the, um, the original 63 days um, and just continue to do that. I think what I'll do is probably um, recruit a partner in crime um, because I think that would help me be accountable. I think that's probably one of the missing links for me along the way. Um, and yeah, just to encourage someone else and be, yeah, and know that we're all human and that we might not always win every day. Wonderful and well done. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Hi, my name is Anupama. I just completed the 63 day challenge. One of the goals I wanted to achieve was have breakfast every morning. Yeah. Um, and I, I stuck to it all the 63 days, which has made me a healthier and more happier person. Um, the benefits I see is I can see my son actually coming and spending time with me at the breakfast table, having a proper breakfast with me, usually a protein. Um, he would never ever eat breakfast just taken up and go and run off to school or, or you know grab a glass of Milo and with a couple of you know Mari biscuits and that's about it whereas now he actually sits there and we chat about the day and, and what he's going to do throughout the day which actually makes me feel really happy. My husband looks forward to it as well and um, amongst us we are a family of four of us so we're all actually very happy that I've done this challenge. So that's wonderful. So you've impacted your family. Tell us about the personal benefits you've noticed from eating breakfast every day. So the first thing I do is I actually look forward to starting the day on a happier note with a full, full tummy. And I've also had the health benefit of actually lost two, si two dress sizes um, because I don't binge eat throughout the day. And I started with a fuller stomach and, and throughout the day I sort of regulate what I eat and how I go through about the day and I seem to have much more energy than what I would normally have had. I've actually had a procedure done last um, Monday as well and I was thinking that's going to knock me out completely. So while I feel a little bit tired, it's still not, you know, brought me down completely, which makes me really happy that I've done this. And, and it seems like second nature now that I will keep continuing um, my aim of having a breakfast every day. Well done. That's fantastic. Hi. I'm Serge Di Bartolomeo. Uh, I've just finished the 63 day challenge and uh, it's been an interesting journey and one, thing, one that I'm actually really thankful that I've actually undertaken. Um, I thank Andrew for, for leading me through. Uh, mine was more um, trying to reconnect with the family. Uh, spending a lot of time at the office I, I came to a, a realisation that my home life is lacking. And through this journey, I've, I've built an awareness of just how much my work life is actually impacting on my family life. Um, as a result of this, I spend uh, more time with the family. Um, I've had some interesting moments with the family over the past uh, 63 days. Some that um, I would never have had before. Uh, even to the point of yesterday when my son actually came to me and we spent the day together out in the garden and neither of us are actually garden people. So we've had a great day and I think we bonded really well out of that. Um, I think I've got a bigger awareness now of uh, how much my work life and my choices 
at work have impacted every aspect of my life. Uh, whether it be eating and drinking, um, family time, even to the time I go home. Uh, I just need to reprogram myself and I've undertaken at the end of this journey that come the new year, one of my goals for next year will be to redo the 63 day challenge with more of a focus uh, and potentially even at the end of this taking uh, a well deserved break from Spectrum uh, for a good four weeks, hoping to manage that if I can. Thank you and thank you everyone. Well done, Serge, great stuff. Hi, my name is Nina. I've just finished a 63 day challenge and my two goals were to drink two litres of water every day and having breakfast in the morning. I'm not a good eater in the morning, so I started just with almonds um, and that has been pretty good, giving me my energy and I've been drinking water every day. And the biggest impact was for me, my energy, less of headaches and I also started to do other things around it and started yoga and Pilates. And I impacted one of my colleagues because she wasn't part of um, the 63 day challenge, but she also started to drink a lot more water next to me. That's it. That's wonderful. So tell us some of the other benefits you've noticed personally. All right. Um, so I have a lot more, as I said, a lot more energy in the morning as well as throughout the days. Um, I don't have as many headaches anymore. And um, generally, I just feel a little bit more calmer. I also started about thinking what kind of water I'm drinking. So I made a lot more emphasis on filtered water, not just tap water. Um, and um, yeah, I uh, just feel a little bit more positive because I also thought of the benefits, not just the physical ones, but also the, the mental ones. Um, and I pick my battles now when I get angry or when I want and having to have negative thoughts. That's, I think, the, the ripple effects that it had yeah. for me personally. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Welcome. <laughs> wow. Pretty amazing stuff, hey? And, and those wonderful four people that were, that were courageous enough to share, um, you could see the impact that those very tiny, seemingly insignificant actions and habits have impacted their lives in terms of losing two dress sizes in terms of, you know, um, bringing family close together, in terms of inspiring, you know, the family to start eating breakfast, in terms of more energy, in terms of, you know, the, the, the impact that, that these things have had. And, and I just really want to encourage you, if you're watching this now, um, that, you know, 63 days is all it takes. So you've just got to choose one or two little things. You've got to get very clear on what's important in your life that's the most that's step one pick one or two things don't pick more than a couple and, and just focus for 63 days to tick the box win the day keep going keep going create the habit and watch what happens in your life and the lives of people that you care about when you do it anyway um have a wonderful day and make the next 63 days the next 63 days that change your life forever okay see you soon bye